Hi guys. Today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by spring because I cannot wait for spring. I'm so done with winter. Cannot wait for spring. So I wanted to do a makeup look that was going to remind me of spring. And if you want to see how to achieve this look, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this MAC pencil in Fascinating and I'm going to apply it as a base over my entire lid. It doesn't have to be too perfect, it's just going to act as a base. Now the palette that I'm using is the Makeup Forever Technicolor palette just because it has all the colors that I'm going to be using today. But you could use any uh, palette that has brighter colors for spring. These are the colors in this palette that we're using After today. After applying the white base, I'm going to go in um, with this yellow right here. And I'm using a really small brush because I find that I struggle the most with applying shadow in precise areas like I struggle the most with having control over where the shadow is actually going and I tend to get shadow in places on my eye that I don't want them that I don't want so you just take that yellow and build it up and this is to be just in the center of your eye okay and after you've applied the, the yellow to the center of your eye, I'm going to come in here with a liner brush. And I'm going to go into the green right here. And we're going to apply that green in the inner part of my eye. Make sure that that's really that you build that color up because you want it to be bright which is also what the white base is going to help do and then we're going to take the same green color and apply it to the outer part of my eye your eye should look something like that now I'm going to go in with this Sigma pencil brush this is the E30 and I'm going to work directly on top of that color and blend the yellow into the green. So there's not such a harsh line in between where the yellow and the green meet. It's just going to look like the colors are fading into each other. So the next color I'm going to use is this bright blue color. And I'm going to take that tap off the excess on my brush and I'm going to apply that right in my crease. Because it's blue and you know it's such a bright blue I didn't add the white base the entire way up the eye. Had I done that I think it would have just been a little bit too much but having the base just on where the yellow and the green are and then applying the blue on top of that I think that it makes it a lot more subtle and a lot more wearable. Next I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to blend that color out. Blend that blue out. Just sheer it out a little bit. I'm also going to take some of this more neutral brown. It's a bit of a shimmer color. And I'm going to use that to blend as well. All the way up to my brow bone. There. Next I'm going to go back with that liner brush. And I'm going to go into that green color right here. And I'm going to line my bottom lash line. Just 
just adds a little bit of something extra. Next, I'm going to line my bottom water line. I'm going to use this MAC Eye Coal Pencil in the color Teddy. It's a really, like, it's a little bit of a shimmery brown color, but you can't really see the shimmer. I just really like the subtlety that it, it actually gives um, any eye look, and it's more natural. And with such a bright eye, I didn't want to add, like, a black liner. I just think it would look, it just wouldn't look as nice. Just gives your eyes a little bit of definition. Curl my lashes just a little bit. Mascara I'm going to be using today is my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara in Extreme Black. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this on. Next, I'm going to be applying these Salon Perfect Perfectly Natural Lashes. Got my Duo Lash Glue. And I'm just going to blow on them. And I'm going to pop these right on my lashes and tuck in the corners. It just adds a little bit of something extra to this look without adding a bunch of dramatic eyeliner because I would wear this look during the day and I really don't want to have like really dark eyeliner in that during the day especially in the summer when it's hot so that's it I thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye